welcome back everyone, Toys Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another NECA Toys Cartoon TMNT video. Of course, the Cartoon TMNT line is a Target exclusive, as this one is, but it's part of their Sewer Heroes series, and it's called Terminate the Turtles, which the figure is the Evil Rex 1 from the episode New York's Shiniest. In typical NECA fashion, for the boxes, they have the flappy opening, you get to see a nice photo of the Evil Rex 1 and the Rex 1 itself. As to just kind of give you a heads up, if you get a chance to go through a few in the store, make sure you get yourself a good looking one. This is the type of plastic that they're using that kind of scratches easily, unfortunately. Now on the back side of the box, I actually really enjoyed this. The color scheme, the photos, and especially the bio. That is a nice touch, and you get to see all the figures. It's a little bit of an army builder, this figure, because of the context of the episode, Shredder makes a bunch of clones of Rex 1. On the bottom of the box, you get to see everyone involved with the creation of this figure, so as always, thank you very much for that. Likewise, you get a rundown of everything you see in the box, so make sure yours is complete, as well as the barcode, as these are starting to hit Target store shelves now as part of the Spring Holothon. Now, as I previously said, this figure hails from the episode New York's Shiniest, and the figure is a bit of a sequel to the prior release Rex 1 that NECA did about, yeah, about a year and a half ago. Now, Shredder gets a hold of the plans to design his own evil versions of the Rex 1 robots, which, of course, he sends after the Turtles. But alas, for Shredder, his plans are for naught when Rex 1 utilizes Donatello's workout tape and promptly puts an end to the evil Rex 1s. I love the old cartoon TMNT episodes. They are bat poop crazy. But what's not bat poop crazy is this new figure. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Target exclusive from the NECA Toys cartoon of TMNT line from the Sewer Heroes series, Terminate the Turtles with your brand new Evil Rex 1. Thank you for sticking with me and here's everything out of the packaging, which you're gonna see a lot of carryover from the prior release Rex 1. You do get a ton of extra hands, which yes, the Rex 1 did have as well. It's all painted nicely, white, little bit of black cartoon accent, but you will see a lot of paint chippage in the actual joints. And you get two blast effects, one blue, one red. Fairly simplistic, but they definitely achieve that cartoon in nature. So with the evil Rex gun, you simply slip in the accessory piece and you're back to blasting all those cumbersome turtles. Now you do get a megaphone and I've just left the megaphone holding hand on it as it's just easier that way. Very simplistic gray plastic with some black accent marks, except the fact that this is the kind of plastic that is really going to scratch easy. So just keep that in mind, especially as we look at our evil Rex one figure. So the figure itself is going to be the exact same minus a few swap out parts and pieces, not much to it, but very much in correlation with how he looks on the old cartoon show. Again, he will have the movable jaw. He will kind of sort of rotate his head. That big old squared off jaw can kind of hinder it as you go side to side, but at least you can move it around if you so choose. On the actual figure, again, mine has a few Nick's couple scratches here and there. That's kind of a bummer. Not always you're gonna notice it, but it's just the fact that I know it's there. Go easy with the articulation. Now. This one seemingly moves a whole heck of a lot better than the prior released Rex. And I'm saying that because that one was incredibly stuck, whereas this new iteration, we'll just say, is a lot more fluid and he moves really seamlessly. And that's always nice to say for a cartoon TMNT figure or just a NECA figure in general. He does have the boob plates, which you can open up and see all the circuitry, all the gadgetry. And yes, it will be the same as the prior released Rex 1. And again, just a minor difference between Rex 1 and the evil Rex is that it just says Rex on the name plates right there. That's the only thing that's really changed other than the head portrait. You still get the guns, which adhere to the side discs right there. And I will say this. 
Not only does he hold it well, but just the same as the other Rex One action figure, but this one seems to port in a whole lot easier. You will get the legs, they'll kick out, you have single jointed robotic knees, and then you get some rotation in the feet. Big old clod hopper feet definitely help in keeping this guy standing. Didn't have a problem with that, but like I said, a lot easier to move this time around, especially in the legs, and that's always important. Not a whole heck of a lot going on on the back. Again, just try and keep the scratches minimal. Don't let him knock into other things. And do be careful when you're cutting the twisty ties and getting them out of the box. Now, just to show you first and foremost, yes, this is the same exact figure as the prior released Rex 1. The colors, the head portrait, and the nameplate are really the only differences. Do you really need this figure? Well, I would say if you're a cartoon TMNT collector, most definitely. Do you need more than one? I'm gonna leave it up to you. Normally, I would army build, but this one seems like a one-off for me, and I am set. So, that will wrap it up for my really quick look at the brand new Evil Rex, or Evil Rex 1, from the Target-exclusive cartoon TMNT line by NECA Toys. That is a lot to say when you're talking about an action figure. I will say this though, in collecting the cartoon TMNT, you really do have every single character that is in the episode. That's always a nice touch. I love being able to do that. It's a fun figure. It's not necessarily one that you need, but you're a cartoon TMNT fanatic. Yeah, you definitely need to get it. So you've heard my thoughts and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything cartoon TMNT. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, something I would have liked to have seen them do is have some break-off parts, right? Something that you could have had where Evil Rex 1s gets destroyed and you got little parts and pieces every which way, and that would have been cool for Donatello's lab for him to work on. Just saying. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.